will the dragons give big cheers to a low-calorie plant-based beer? The Dragon's Den Tire hates on BBC One. A death at a workplace leads to sneaky behaviour coming to life. Thrilling drama, rules of the game. Watch now on iPlayer. Episodes on iPlayer. Press red for UHD. Got a story to tell? What I'm going to try and do is go to school and educate a lot of people about it. Just before you eat, something you can see because you can really can't achieve something. If you're 8, 11 to 18, the BBC can help you tell your story. This is the world you're being left. A uh, world well, made of concrete. Tell us your story idea. Enter now at bbc.co.uk slash young reporter competition. This is BBC One in the North West. Now the BBC News with Rita Chakrabarty and Eleanor Moritz at one o'clock. COVID restrictions are to be eased in care homes in England from Monday. Any number of family and friends will be able to visit as the isolation time for those who contract COVID will be cut from 14 to 10 days. It's a real positive move, you know, um, breathing life back into the homes, um, allowing people to see their loved ones where they feel, where they felt certainly cut off. And from today, face coverings are no longer legally required in England, but some businesses will ask you to wear one. Ministers say that restrictions can be relaxed because of the success of the booster programme. Also this lunchtime. Russia's demand that Ukraine should never be allowed to join NATO is rejected by the US. Prince Andrew denies ever being a close friend of convicted sex trafficker Ghislaine Maxwell in a legal response to being sued for alleged sexual assault. The Holocaust survivors captured on canvas for a display at Buckingham Palace to mark Holocaust Memorial Day. Perfect to joke is wild again, which some of the country's top comedians are oh, okay. And tributes to one of the most influential and enduring writers in British comedy, Barry Cryer, who died at the age of 86. And in the northwest, as COVID restrictions are eased, health chiefs in Manchester want people to carry on with face masks. They say the pandemic's not over. And we're back in Bidston Drive to see how they're coping with the rising cost of living. Welcome to the BBC News at One. Residents in 